Okay, so this is part two of our current event and Bible study for 72907. In this particular part, we're going to talk about the some of the false Bible versions. Particularly, we're going to key on the NIV, and we're going to look at some of the tenets of the NIV, some of the things that have went on behind the scenes of that making of that translation. And I don't know if you're aware, but the publisher of the New, Inter New International Version, also referred to as the NIV, also publishes the Satanic Bible. Now I went and I've expanded, I might have touched on this teaching before in some other, but I've expanded on it. And this is the, new, this is the newly updated information. Because I wanted to see if this still was the case. Because, you know, things can change. In 1988, Zondervan, now Zondervan is one of the main publishers of, of Bibles and Christian books. In 1988, Zondervan became a division of HarperCollins. HarperCollins, one of the world's leading English language publishers, HarperCollins is part of New America Publishing Group, a division of News Corporation. Now this is, that was straight, that quote I just read you is straight off the Zondervan website. Zondervan Customer Support. Okay, I went up to their website to get this information. Zondervan Company Statistics. Parent company is Harper College Publishers. Book products. Zondervan has 41 Bibles and books with more than 500,000 copies of each in print, including one bestseller with more than 30 million copies in print worldwide. The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren is one of them. Talk on the bestseller, okay? So Zondervan is yoked up with a good old Rick Warren. Zondervan's Bibles consistently dominate the CBA Bible bestseller list. I think that probably stands for Christian Bible Association. They consistently dominate. Since, and that, it sounds like they're blowing their horn, their horn there, they're consistently dominating CBA Bible seller list. Christian, oh, Christian, well, it says CBA. Oh, okay. So, since 1995, Zondervan Bibles have held at least five and as many as ten of the top ten positions on the list at any given time. The NIV Study Bible has been the country's best-selling Bible since 2000. Now, again, I've got a whole link here. You can go and look at this on their website. I'm not making this stuff up. If you visit online at harpercollins.com, you will find some very discouraging and, and evil books for sale that are published by this company. There are a number of pro-homosexual titles. Now, again, we get let's let's do a little couple Bible verses here. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Well, the parent company is HarperCollins. These are wicked companies, and we're going to see who these companies are even owned by. Now, a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump, and there's this whole company's been leavened, and the foundations have already been destroyed, and they're putting out false Bible versions. This is a problem. If you visit HarperCollins.com, you will find some very discouraging and evil books for sale that are published by this company. There are a number of pro-homosexual titles. And amidst these evil books, we will find the following advertisement from the same publishing company. Quote, The foregoing is exerted from the Satanic Bible by Anton LaVey. All rights reserved. No part of this book may be used or reproduced without written permission from HarperCollins Publishers. And then it gives the address for them. So see, Harper College Publishers, who's the parent company at Zondervan, publishes the Satanic Bible. So when you buy a anything Zondervan, your your money's ultimately going to 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 feed the Harper Collins Empire. They're still they're making money off you. So you're actually helping to publish the Satanic Bible in a way. Notice that HarperCollins not only publishes homosexual books, they publish the Satanic Bible. So this leading publisher of homosexual books and blatantly Satanic books also publishes the NIV. Well, and it looks like 41 other types of Bibles too, it says. The NIV is just one. So James 3.12 says, Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either of vine figs? So can no fountain yield both salt and fresh? Can't yield... Salt, fresh water. You can't bow the knee to Baal and bow the knee to Christ. This is the argument that I get into a lot with about people that, that you know, say, oh, well, he, he was a Mason, but, you know, George Washington, these types of things, or, or these guys that were Masons, well, he's really a good Christian. But how do you bow the knee to Baal 
when you when you become a Mason, which is exactly what you're doing, or Baphomet, or the Goat of Mendes, or Jabalon, as we talked about in the last uh, teaching, how do you bow the knee to these devils and then bow the knee to Christ? The Bible says you can't serve two two masters. You can't. A, a, a fountain cannot yield both salt and fresh water. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Can't do it. Not in God's eyes. You you may think you're doing it, but you're not. You you if you bow the knee to Baal, you bow the knee to Baal. You can't bow it to Christ. It's all or nothing with Christ. Zonerfan is a subsidiary of Harper Collins which is owned by News Corp, which is owned by Rupert Murdoch. Oh, he is one of the biggest producers worldwide of pornography on the planet. And his company, Zonerfan, holds the exclusive distribution rights to the NIV. This conglomerate also publishes the Good News for Modern Man and the Amplified Version. Oh, me! The Amplified version. We, we know some ministries that are totally, totally pushing the Amplified. You know, the Bible says at the end, in Revelation, it says if you add unto the words of the book of this prophecy, then they will add unto you the plagues of, the, of this book. That's all the, the Amplified does, is add. Then it says if you take away from the books of this, words of the book of this prophecy, that you will have your, book, you will have your name taken out of the book of, uh, the book of life, if you're a Christian. That's a pretty serious, stern warning. Not something I really want to mess around with. But yeah, Rupert Murdoch, one of the biggest pornographers on the planet, Rupert Murdoch was referred to as basically, he's referred to by the press as the great Satan. This man is evil. Evil beyond our conception. And he's the one that ultimately, if you if you put your money and you go to Zonderfan and you buy your NIV corrupt perverted Bible with 64,098 less words in it than a King James. And I'm not making that figure up. That's an exact figure. 64,098 less words, which is almost 10% of the total text. I wonder who the translators were tithing those words to. Was it God or Satan? Huh. Something to think about. But when you when you ultimately purchase something from Zonderfan, you're, all, you're ultimately up the chain. Your money's ultimately going into Rupert Murdoch's pocket. A percentage of it. He owns all the companies all the way down. What does he do? Well, he's just one of the biggest producers of pornography worldwide. Why do you think the Bible says you're destroyed for lack of knowledge? In Hosea 4.6. This is something that a person, if they're putting their money into this, they can be destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because if, you, if you're putting your money into this, I, I believe it will affect you spiritually. In these perilous last days, pornography has evolved into a $10 billion per year industry. This is not surprising. Once we even begin, once we even begin to frown upon the landmarks and the barriers set by the former generations, we are sliding down a slippery slope. The old ways are not good enough for our generation. The old paths are too narrow, which it makes reference to that in Jeremiah 6.16 and Hebrews 12.13. The old version is too restrictive. We want to wear what we please and view whatever we desire. But once a knot is finally untied, the whole quickly unravels. Pornography never satisfies. If we look at Proverbs 27, verse 20, it says, Hell and destruction are never full, so the eyes of a man are never satisfied. So pornography begets more and more and more. Those who view pornography become enslaved by it. They must then become increasingly depraved as they demand things more perverse than before. Romans 126 and Proverbs 119 would confirm this. Pornography breeds sodomy. Now, we're going to do a study in the near future of what sodomy actually it really is. The full definition of sodomy, because it's not what you think. And then sodomy breeds child molestation and other vile deeds. Now, I'm not going to say that, that, that everybody that would view pornography goes into child molestation. But it could end up there. Okay, it's just like anything else. If you give Satan a toehold, he's going to have a foothold, and if you're going to give him a foothold, he's going to have his whole body on you. So, yes, this is where a lot of people, they start with pornography, and then it ends up elsewhere. It's, it's a proven fact that I think, like, these serial killers, you typically start off with mutilating and killing animals. And then they progress up to, to humans, because they, once they get that, that bloodlust, and then there's a spiritual exchange that takes place when you do this,